Good job, Akuro. Oh, hey, you're back to explore the Eleverse with Professor World. It's me, Professor World. My Elemon, Akuro, and I are making sure these plants get what they need. <coughs> That's right, H2O. If we provide plants with what they need, they provide us with what we need. Akuro? Oxygen. Akuro. Plants use a process called photosynthesis to produce oxygen. This means they take in carbon dioxide, sunlight, and water to produce oxygen. Yeah, oxygen is such a wonderful element. Check it out. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could see oxygen? Pardon me for interrupting this wondrous event, but your assistant is live and ready with the oxygen experiment. That's right, we can observe oxygen. Plants aren't the only things that release oxygen. Experiments can too. Let's observe oxygen in action with lab assistant Neon. Oxygen, oxygen. In, in action. Professor World, lab assistant Neon here, and we are ready to see the element oxygen in action. Wonderful, so you have the hydrogen peroxide? Check. And the catalyst? Oh. Check. And you're ready to split one oxygen molecule from the hydrogen peroxide? Is that what we're testing? Yes, that's absolutely what we're testing. Oh, well then, yes. Check. Then let's see oxygen in action. Oxygen in action. Oxygen in action. Oxygen in action. Peroxide's chemical formula is H2O2. Uh huh. When a catalyst is added, it quickly breaks the bonds, forcing the hydrogen peroxide into two parts water and oxygen gas. Oh, so that's why there's so many bubbles. It's all just water and oxygen. <laughs> we released oxygen. <laughs> Let's do it again. Now let's do it together. Here's a version that everyone can do. Just make sure you have an adult to help you. You'll need 3% hydrogen peroxide, dishwashing soap, food coloring, yeast, water, and a container. And don't forget your tray so you don't make a mess. Professor World, need I remind you to clean up any mess you make? Yes, come. This hydrogen peroxide is a key ingredient. It contains two hydrogen and two oxygen. Pour this into the container first. Oh yeah. Then add your soap. Then add your favorite color food coloring. And now we're gonna add some yeast to our water. Hmm. And activate! 
<laughs> Just kidding. Yeast doesn't actually activate that quickly. It takes about five minutes for yeast to activate. It's ready. If we do this right, our yeast mixture will act as a catalyst. A catalyst speeds up a chemical reaction. Let's put it to the test. Whoa! 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 Look at that! Oh my, it's so foamy, look at all the oxygen. Look at all the oxygen molecules right now. We did it! We forced the bonds to break and we released water and oxygen from hydrogen peroxide. I feel the power! <laughs> Speaking of power, <laughs> Speaking of power. <laughs> oh, um, and yes, Kong can tell you how it's so powerful using the power of the periodic table. Thank you. Oxygen is a powerful element. Humans and animals require oxygen to breathe. Not me, of course. I'm uniquely perfect as I am a hologram. Ah, <sighs> gotta love breathing in that oxygen. You jealous, Kong? Moving on, let's take a closer look. The element, oxygen, has the atomic symbol O and has the atomic number of eight. But we need oxygen for more than just breathing. Correct. It is used in the making of plastics, filtration of water, extraction of metal from ore, and it's essential for rocket fuel because it promotes combustion. Huh, who'd have thunk? Oh yeah. One more time, just for fun. Okay, that's all for Professor World today!